In this video, we're going to tell you what happens when you take lots of measurements, each of which has an uncertainty, and average them all. The basic idea, let's say you make lots of measurements and each measurement has some uncertainty, and we'll call that uncertainty sigma, which is the uncertainty in each measurement. But now, let's say, instead of just measuring it once, you measure it n times. And let's say that you take the average of all these measurements. So let's call that x bar is the average value of the things you've measured. Now, the uncertainty in the average, so if that's sigma x is the uncertainty in one measurement x, so sigma x bar is the uncertainty in the average, will be much less than sigma x. In fact, the equation is the error in the mean is equal to the error of each data point divided by root n minus 1. So let's say, for example, you made 10 measurements, so n equals 10, n minus 1 is 9, root n minus 1 is 3, so that means the error in the mean would be three times less than the error in each individual point. One way to think of it is, let's say you had a whole bunch of values spread over some range here. So you'd repeat this over and over again. Sigma will be something like this. It's telling you how much the points are scattered. But you can tell that the average of them is going to be somewhere pretty close to here. It's not going to be out there or over there. So you have a much better understanding of where the average is than of any individual point. This is why you do repeat experiments. But a warning. This is also one of the most dangerous and misused bits of statistics. For this to work, every measurement has to be independent. That means that the uncertainty in one measurement is unrelated to the uncertainty in the next measurement. So, for example, let's say you measured the height of something 10 times using the same ruler in the same way, and the ruler's out of whack, then they will each be out of the same amount and this won't work. But if it was measured 10 different times using 10 different people and 10 different rulers and 10 different methods, then the measurements probably are independent and you can apply this.